As Winchester City face New Milton Town at the Denplan City Ground on Saturday, hoping to maintain their gap of nine points at the top of the Wessex Premier League. Manager Guy Butters stressed the importance of attacking early on and were given the opportunity to take the lead when New Milton Town's captain Darren Curtis was a judge to have pushed Andrew White. Jamie White made no mistake from 12 yards. But the referee's decision clearly angered the away bench. The lead did not last long. Good play from Harrison Jilks and the slack Winchester defending allowed the redeemed Curtis to head in the equaliser. The goal clearly delighted the defender, running half the length of the pitch bearing the name of his newborn daughter on his vest. Butters was bemused by the quick equaliser. With minds drawn to rivals Bermonton in their game, Winchester pushed for another goal early on in the second half. McClory Cuthbertson's cross gave Dominic Allen the chance to score his first goal of the game. City were then given a second penalty when the referee deemed the ball had hit a defender's hand. Jamie White clinically hit the roof of the net. The talisman striker then secured his hat-trick on 70 minutes with his 40th league goal of the season. Mark Lilly came on in the latter stages and 30 seconds later added his name to the score sheet. In the end, Winchester recorded a resounding 5-1 victory and maintained their lead at the top. This is Aaron Summers for Winchester News Online.